Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Check out what's behind me. Not my typical car. We have a Ford Bronco Raptor and today we are going to put this car to the ultimate car mom test and see just how family friendly it is. If it's your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of three and a certified child passenger safety tech. I'm assuming you are tuning into this video to not find out like how well this thing can like climb over rocks and such, but instead find out if it could fit your children's three car seats. And that's the question I'm gonna answer for you today. Let's get started. <laughs> we are gonna start breaking down all of the goodness on the side profile and actually some of the family friendly features that we have on here, like this running board. Now, when you have a Bronco like this with that big of tires, um, buckling children in and out of this car is gonna be a little difficult. I'm about six feet tall and like hoisting the rear facing baby in there is gonna be difficult. So I really like these running boards right here. All right, let's look at the trunk. So it's one of those refrigerator door trunks. So it just opens like this. And then we also have our back glass right here, which can just pop right open. Um, this is a Mockingbird single stroller. And as you can see, it was able to fit great back here. A ton of different ways that you could kind of like configure the stroller to make it fit kind of for your needs. I honestly just threw it in there, but let's take it out and kind of break down the trunk space a little bit more. All right, so here's a lot of our trunk space with nothing in it. It is a nice, wide, deep trunk. Um, I like I like the height of the trunk for definitely making things easy to load and unload. But overall, trunk space, size of the car, I mean, it's not like winning any awards. It's a fine trunk. It can fit a stroller. It can fit a double stroller. It can fit a stroller wagon. It can fit your Target haul. It can fit your Costco haul. You'll be fine. Let's get to the driver's seat. Okay, here's what I mean in the driver's seat of this Ford Bronco Raptor. Driver's comfort features are fine i mean obviously this is a very like rugged car i don't think you're expecting to be able to like fit your 30 ounce stanley in every cup holder but we'll start by breaking down the door panel i mean this specific bronco raptor that we're doing is cute like i'm loving the blue interior i think the orange stitching is fun rustic has a net was rustic even the word <laughs> off roady no rugged i was thinking of rugged i knew i would get there let me get you on the other side and i'll show you some of the tech as far as some family friendly features up here i was very excited to see that we actually had seatbelt sensors available in this bronco raptor you guys know i love those it shows who's buckled and that is a little spoiler alert because i have three things buckled in the second row which we'll get to in a second um i also um love the infotainment system it's simple it's easy to use it's the same one we're going to find across the ford lineup nothing too overly special there we do have heated seats and a heated steering wheel on this bronco raptor edition as well as a wireless charger usb usb c cup holder situation ice flow check we have got our goat modes which stands for go over any terrain and then we will also have all of our window controls right here because you can obviously take the doors off of this Bronco. So all of our window wiring and things are right here. And then we've got a little bit of a center console. The only other thing I really wanted to talk about before we get to the second row from a car seat family setup is um, visibility in this car with car seats is going to be tough. I don't think you're going to be surprised to hear that. Um, but with that back windshield and the spare tire and how small that back windshield is, if you have forward facing or rear facing car seats back here, I can't, I can't see. I can't see. Okay, I do want to show a shot of me in the passenger seat because behind me, I have a rear-facing Graco car seat. So I actually was impressed with the rear-facing car seat clearance. Um, I'm very tall. I'm about six feet tall. That's, a, you know, a bigger rear-facing seat. And I have, I mean, I could, I could go up several inches if needed. So rear-facing car seats in the Ford Bronco, from a fit perspective, are working pretty good. But let's really start breaking down everything there is to know about the car seat setup back there and just how and just if this is a good car for kids and for families um the one thing i want you to know is there is no ventilation back there they're not on the back of the center console they're not on the ceiling your kids are going to potentially be hot here especially if they're not able especially if they're rear facing and not able to get any of this ventilation so that's thing number one so as far as fitting car seats i was actually able to successfully fit three car seats in this ford bronco which I'm not necessarily surprised because it is a nice big wide vehicle, but I was, I was, I am impressed overall with the car seat configuration. So as far as the hardware is concerned, I've got lower anchors on the outboard seats and three tether anchors across the bench. I have used no lower anchors in the, in my installation and cited all seat belts. And the reason for doing seat belt installations over a lower anchor installation is that I'm able to move the car seats just a few inches this way to kind of give everyone a little bit more space especially that middle seat i started in the middle seat with a forward facing gray coast slim fit 3lx and then i did two more of those on either side one forward facing one rear facing i honestly think multiple combinations of forward and rear facing seats would work i think by the time you but however i do think if you were to start introducing some booster seats in this mix 
you may run into some difficulties just because of how close the buckles are to each other and the buckles are rigid. They aren't as flexible, so you're not able to kind of like pull them this way or pull them that way to make buckling a booster age child a little bit easier. Another thing when it comes to like thinking about how this card works for a family, as you can see, you guys, I mean, these doors do not open very wide. Pumpkin seats or infant seats are gonna be very hard to hoist in here. Um, also, headrests are removable, which I really like. It's not necessarily that this headrest interfered with my car seat installation. However, if you look at how this kind of declines right here, I had to pull the seat more out so it would sit flat on the seat, which could have caused a little bit of a headrest interference. So I was happy that I had the option to be able to remove it. And this car seat allows for installations with no headrest. So I really like these car seats. Again, this is specifically called the Graco Slim Fit 3LX. Don't get the regular Graco Slim Fit if you want to accomplish this. These are much slimmer, much more compact, and really, really worked well for this installation. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this quick little Ford Bronco tour. And let me know what other vehicle tours you want to see next. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.